Hey, gems, it's your girl, Shekinah, and I'm back, back again with another video. Good morning, God bless, good afternoon, and God bless, whatever time it is, wherever you're at, God bless you, okay? Right now, I'm in my bed. I decided to record, like, one of those getting up at 5 a.m., trying to be product productive video. So, I just took my shower um and picked out my clothes for the day i haven't cleaned my room yet i don't know if i'm gonna get to that today i want to but today is just moving really fast it's like almost eight o'clock already oh wait it is eight o'clock the day is speeding <laughs> trying to find a sermon to watch products that we marvel at I'm one of those people who are crazy enough to believe that when God is creating the tapestry that will be our lives, that he recognizes that those moments of being in and out, those moments where the threads are just taking us on a journey, are actually creating that expected end, that masterpiece, that tapestry. And yet in the moment, we don't care about that. Hey Jim, so I am currently on my way to um, I'm currently on my way to Six Flags. I'm going with my friend, Raphael. I'm ready to have fun and have a good time. As you guys can see, look at my hair. I did it in a new style today. I've never really done a style like this with a wig before, but I like it. I think it looks pretty good. I already did my prayer for safety. I, as you guys saw in the last clip, I watched my sermon this morning. I ate my food. Now I'm on my way to the park. It is currently 3.30. I'm probably gonna get there at like 6.50. But, wait, no, I'm not. If it's two hours, 5.30, I'm gonna get there at 5.50. Good, okay? So, um, yeah, I handled some business today. I had um, a ticket for Easy Pass, New York. So I had to handle that, but I am ready to rumble. So I'll see you guys when we either get in the park or um, I, I'll try to record. I really would. Um, yeah, so I'll just see you guys later. <laughs> Look, 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 look. look what she doing. Look, look, look. I was eating fries. We done went to like three hotel houses. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to a fourth one, but he wanted to go to Skull Mountain, so. Chicago. <laughs> you want to go to Skull Mountain? You do too. Not really. I rode that ride plenty of times. We rode Green Lantern. What's the other one we rode? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. We rode Sun House. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> she was all up on my back. <laughs> Cause I heard her. I was like, anyway. <laughs> you ain't gonna catch me slipping. I only got scared at one of them joints. This is usually an eating area. Over there. That joint be packed. 
Not over there. Where is it? It's over somewhere over here. Okay. We about to take this thing across the park. Because we he wanna go around for mine. I'm okay with rabbits for mine. I'm freezing, y'all. Can you see it in my eyes? I think you too. <laughs> then we got the nerve to get cold drink. Told you, look at this wild bro. We might as well walk this joint. We might as well walk it. Ralph Cole, y'all. His nose ready. For real? <laughs> Hurry up and get these people on these things and keep it pushing. But I'll see y'all later. Whatever I could record. Because they be telling me we can't record. We can't take our phone and this and that. Right? Mm -hmm. Nitro over there in the corner. He don't want to go over Nitro. You want to go Nitro's over there in the corner? Or oh, Bizarro. Bizarro over there too. Bizarro not as bad as Nitro. Even open? Huh? They don't. No, it's. Oh, okay, good. I wasn't sure. <laughs> okay, guys, so yeah, I went to Fright Fest. Fright Fest is over. I don't celebrate Halloween. That is not why I went to Fright Fest. I went to Fright Fest literally to see what it was about because I wanted to go to this middle school. And you know, people always tell me it's really fun, it's really fun, it's really fun. So I wanted to see what it was about. I wish I could have recorded more, but you know, you can't record on like roller coasters. I'm not risking dropping this phone. It costs a lot of money that I do not have to get another one. Okay. And also, yeah, they didn't let us record in the other houses. It was just me and my friend Raphael that had went, but um, yeah, I had got some serious conviction as I was leaving. It's like God let me go to see what it was about because I always wanted to see what it was about. He let me see why I never was able to go before why it just wasn't for me um he did give me free parking thank you jesus he had a man at the gate that was so kind he gave me free parking because they were trying to charge a girl 40 dollars for parking i said 40 dollars for what you know so god was like i'm not even about to make them charge you 40 dollars for this parking because you're gonna be mad when you leave and you're gonna be like i should never wait in the first place <laughs> but anyway so it was the last haunted house, and me and my friend, we walking through it. This house is dark, like, it's in our back by where they be having the animals at. This is the New Jersey Six Flags. So, we in there, and I'm like, oh, no, nah, it's mad dark. It's mad dark. So, I hold on to my friend, bro. Now, Ralph, Ralph grabbed me, because he know, the last haunted house, two hours, no, two hours before that, I screamed. Dumb loud. I said, oh, Jesus. Because the girl was at the table. <laughs> so now he like, okay, come on, Shekinah girl. So I was like, all right. And um, yeah, so he just grabbed me. He was like, come on, Shekinah. And he grabbed me because I'm like, it's too dark. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. And they had people by the door. I was like, oh, shoot. Um, every other, other haunted house. I didn't really get convicted, but this specific one, my spirit said, get out. Honestly, like, I got convicted so hard in that haunted house. It's not even like only conviction. It's like I felt like it was, mm -mm, like, it was bad. Like, the vibes, I just, my spirit wasn't feeling it at all. Zobe is just my pink shirt. This is my bedtime shirt. Okay, mind your business. My spirit wasn't feeling that joint. My spirit wasn't feeling that joint at all, yo. At all. Like, I was like, nah, I don't like this. I gotta get out of here. 
first of all, this is the first haunted house I actually read the description. And the description was supposed to be like, it was based on like, it's called bloodshed. And it was based on like some mama something, how she had half human, half animal. She had turned them into half human, half animals. So you would just walk through haunted house, people just scaring you. Ah, you're like, oh shoot. But my spirit said no. No. And it's like after that, my eyes was open. So we left there and we was leaving to walk out the park. And then I'm looking up and I see they literally had statues of like devils in the park. Literally two statues of devils when you walk into the park. I didn't see it when I first came in because I passed some joints. As I'm leaving, I see the two statues like you're walking into Hell's Gates. I see the two statues. I'm like, what the freak? And then I look and they have one of the workers dressed like the devil. And I looked at him. I looked at the statues. I said, what am I doing here? Like, literally, that was my thought. And then like, people wanted to take a picture with the guy who was dressed like the devil. Like, oh my God, yeah, gang, gang. Like, and I'm like, my conviction is hit so hard right now. Like, I was like, oh no, I'm never, I'm never coming back. Like, I just looked around. I was like, I'm never coming back. I knew in my mind I was never coming back to their Fright Fest dream. That dream was not given. I did go on roller coasters, but I didn't even see like the statue stuff. When we first came, they didn't have none of their workers out dressed up or nothing. I don't even. I think they had the statues up, but they probably didn't. They probably put it up as time went on. Because as time went on, the park got full of the workers started coming out. You know, dressed in their costume, walking around the park, scaring you. It was the part, you know, you guys saw the cemetery. They had people in there dressed up like it's a dead cemetery. And they're ghosts and stuff. And they was walking around trying to scare you. There was one who was like a goblin. And I just recognized, like, I'm not supposed to be here. This is not for me. This ain't my vibe. This ain't my party. This ain't my area. This ain't nothing. Like, this is not for me. So, like, I got up out of there and I came home, got on my knees and prayed. <laughs> and I cried. I was like, God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm wet. But I see now. I see. Like, so, yeah, I'm never going back because everything is deeper than what we think it is. You know, what our natural eye can see. Everything is so much deeper than that. You know, and they were glorifying hell. And I'm like, I ain't going. And y'all may want to go, but me, my bestie Jesus, I'm going to heaven. You know what, Jesus, you right. All these years, yo, and this is before I even got saved. Everything kept popping up and nobody ever wanted to take me to Fright Fest. I remember my sisters went and none of them took me. I didn't go. And I wanted to go so bad. And I was like, I drive now. I make my own money. I'm going to go. So I went. And I was like, I should have never went. Like, and I just feel like it opened the door to, for everybody who's there who didn't know, it opened the door to allow the enemy to come in and try to terrorize their life. You know, and you know, I ended up doing something today that I should never done. And I was like, oh, and then I looked back, I was like, you would have never did this if you would have never went yesterday. You open the door. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close that door. So that's what I'm doing now. Now I'm going to fast and I'm going to pray. Now I gotta go 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 to work. Cause I didn't open the door my own self. Um but yeah, never again. I do wanna do something around Christmas time like Hershey Park or something because they have like not Hershey Park but the town of Hershey they're having like this no New Year's they have like the big Hershey kisses that goes up in the air like the ball drops in New York they do that in Hershey PA so I do want to see that but yep that's what happened and that's why she kind of would not be going back to Six Flags Frank Fest my spirit said no. So the answer is no. 
but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning into this video please make sure you like comment subscribe turn on the post notification bell and i'm about to get in the shower i'm out